guys welcome back to another video this is a reaction to five rocket launches that went horribly wrong and this is i mean uh, uh, my last reaction was a space video it was actually two days ago i've not had much time at all whilst in scotland so i've had to just sort of find myself half an hour to give a reaction and sort of edit it and stuff actually i need about an hour to be honest but um yeah this one is five rocket launches that that went horribly wrong again the mic's not great i know the camera lighting and the quality isn't great but it's only going to be for a few more days and then we can get back to the usual setup but i'm having a good time and like i've said in previous videos if you're interested in seeing what i'm getting up to getting up to in scotland links to my instagram are in the description i'm posting stuff on my story and i'm going to post like pictures when i probably when i probably when i leave but i mean yeah if you're intrigued in seeing some of scotland links are there i mean it's a beautiful place man it's absolutely incredible but yeah, links are there for my Instagram and my Twitter. Same for my Patreon, links were there for those interested. We're at 401 Patrons. It's about to reset, so it's probably going to go down by quite a lot. But yeah, the Patreon's been going crazy. Them reactions will definitely return once I get back home. But um, yeah, man, we're just going to get into this one. I've done two space reactions in a row now, so we just have to, we just have to see how these, these ones go down, really. But just get into this. I mean, rocket launches that, going, like that go wrong, I mean, I don't really know how they could go wrong without anyone passing away. I'm going to assume there's going to be people losing their lives because, yeah, a rocket launch, when it goes wrong, causes the craziest sort of explosions, don't it? But we'll just have to see. But, yeah, let's just check this one out. Rocket technology has advanced rapidly over the last 60 years. And in that time, it is estimated that over 35,000 rockets have been sent to space. Jeez. But with such rapid innovation, you're bound to have some accidents. Space organizations spend years making sure everything is correct. How See, I'm sorry, yeah. unless there's no one on that ship, which, I mean, there probably isn't, to be honest. I don't know if there would be or not. There's going to be a huge loss of life there, man. But I assume there's a sort of rule that you have to stand away quite far away so you, like, you aren't in the line of the explosion if it does go wrong. For a single error can cause oh, those shit. years of work to go down the drain in a matter of seconds. From the United States all the way to China, here are five rocket launches that went horribly wrong. In October of 2014, NASA was set to launch an unmanned Antares rocket off the Virginia coast. The goal was simple, to deliver goods to the International Space Station, something that had been done many, many times before. Unfortunately, things took a different turn that day. When the launch began, it was business as usual, but that didn't last for long. Shit. Catch it on camera. No. Fuck. That's like a fucking atomic bomb, man. An investigation into why the man. rocket failed soon followed. A year later, a report came out detailing how there was an explosion within the rocket's liquid oxygen turbo pump in one of the two AJ-26 engines. This caused the rocket to lose its thrust and come crashing back so close to the launch pad. The explosion was triggered when stationary and rotating parts within the turbo pump came into contact with one another. The excessive amount of friction that was generated led to the ensuing fire. However, the report could not figure out what caused the issue in the turbo pump in the first place. Investigators narrowed it down to three potential issues, or perhaps some kind of combination of the three. It's possible the explosion occurred as a result of inadequate design robustness of the engine itself, which made it more susceptible to oxygen fires. It's also possible a debris such as titanium or silica got into the engine. Finally, there could have been a manufacturing defect within the engine. Investigators could not say for certain exactly what caused this disaster. Luckily, no one was harmed in this launch. Oh, so maybe in the others there are people who lost their lives then. On July oh, 1st shit. of 2013, a Russian rocket was set to take- These are all a lot more recent as well, so I mean, it is crazy. I, I don't know how many rockets are launched in a year or like daily or whatever. It's probably not yearly, maybe. Did the series just pop up? 
Oi, run away. Oh, shit, what have I done here? Um, <laughs> it's probably like 200 a day, mate. 200 a year, not 200 a day. And how often would they go wrong? Maybe like once every two years? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a lot more often than I actually realise, but yeah, man. It shows how sort of new we are still, still to this sort of technology, because I mean... This is how it was back with planes hundreds of years or hundreds of years ago, a hundred years ago when we were first sort of figuring out how to use them, and now I mean, it's very rare when they crash. So stop fucking calm. I mean, yeah, maybe it'll get. Hopefully, it'll get to that point with rockets eventually, but. Off. However, never know, things Probably. quickly went askew when the rocket began to veer off course. You can see in the video how significantly it's skewing to the side, Gun. which can only Gonna mean go down. disaster. Yeah. Imagine it crashes towards you, though. Oh, mate. It didn't take long for the rocket to begin breaking apart before falling back to Earth and exploding. Oh my days. <laughs> Fucking hell. The shockwave and everything. God Findings damn. from later found that the failure was likely due to an emergency shutdown of the booster's engines and about 17 seconds into takeoff. Luckily, the rocket was unmanned. But it was carrying 600 tons of highly toxic kerosene, amyl, and heptyl fuel, which were spilled all over the surrounding area. Wow. While the fuel did give off a poisonous smoke, it was partly contained thanks to nearby rain at the launch site. Unfortunately, the people of Baikonur, a town about 36 miles away from the launch, were still in harm's way. An alert went out- so they had to evacuate. Bruh. These sort of things I wouldn't think about at all. You've got to evacuate certain like towns or cities because of this. That is baffling, man. Telling them to stay inside with the windows closed inside. until further notice. The rocket was insured for 6 billion rubles, which comes out to about 182 million American dollars. <laughs> the failure came on the heels of a slew of rocket launch mishaps to occur in Russia. Three satellites were lost in December of 2010 when a different Proton rocket also failed during launch. After this particular incident, all Proton rockets had to be grounded for months until a detailed investigation could be carried out to try to prevent future disasters. Free. Still free more, man. Jeez. On January 17th, 1997, a rocket that went by GPS IIR-1 was set to be the first block IIR GPS satellite to set flight. It was supposed to operate as a component of the United States Air Force Global Positioning System, but it blew apart only 13 seconds after it took off. You can see how quickly things That's go amazing. from exciting to devastating in one humongous blast. It's like fireworks, man. Bro. Imagine being caught in the crossfire there again, man. The rocket took off or from Cape Canaveral. It was found. Yeah, like imagine that lands like in your house or but that idea of that's just unreal in your garden or something i guess they're so far away from people's homes it's unlikely but say they're so high in the sky and like they sort of moved sort of to a different sort of um i don't know a different area from where it was take where it took off it's probably happened where it has, stuff has landed in people's gardens or whatever like things similar to that i'd assume so but The rocket took off from Cape Canaveral. It was found that the rocket's flight termination system was activated via its onboard computer. This detonated the explosive charges located around the rocket, causing it to go up in flames. When it exploded, the rocket was roughly 1,600 feet in the air, 
making it the lowest altitude explosion to occur at Cape Canaveral since the Atlas Centaur AC-5 disaster in 1965. Later, an investigation found that the failure was due to a crack in the casing of the number 2 solid rocket motor. This crack began to form at T plus 6 seconds, and it only got worse from there. At T plus 12 seconds, the SRB casing finally ruptured, resulting in debris getting stuck at the number 8 SRB right next to it. That led to the motor failing, and at that point, there was no hope of salvaging the mission. A manual destruct command was set to terminate the launch for safety reasons. Residents of the surrounding area were advised to stay inside and keep their windows closed because vapors from the rocket could be toxic or irritating. Jeez. The impact was still felt in the nearby town. Some damage to store windows were reported as much as 10 miles away from the launch site. But buildings wow. can be repaired. Luckily, nobody was killed from this incident. I wonder if any people lost their lives in any of these incidents. I'd hope the not, Vanguard but... TV-3 was the United States' first attempt to get a satellite into orbit around the planet. The world saw several successful Soviet launches with Sputnik 1 and 2, so the United States designed the Vanguard TV-3. This was a small satellite it's made tiny. to test the launch abilities of the three-stage Vanguard and study the effects of the Earth's orbit on the vessel. It was also meant to obtain geodetic measurements through the orbit's analysis. The key words in that last sentence are meant to. The launch was set to take place on December 6, 1957. In just two seconds after liftoff, the rocket began to lose thrust. It fell back to Earth onto its launch pad. As it settled back onto the ground, the fuel tanks ruptured and subsequently exploded. The rocket was destroyed, and the launch pad sustained extreme damage. There were a number of failures during the year, and the United States promptly announced them. The first oh, wow. most spectacular of these was Vanguard at the end of 1957. There were other Vanguard failures, all achieved takeoff, wow. but trouble occurred either in the second or third stages. An investigation ensued, but they could not determine the precise cause of the accident. It's believed that the fuel system malfunctioned in some way. After the incident, the satellite was too badly damaged to be salvaged. However, it went on to be displayed in the National Air and Space Museum in the Smithsonian. Oh, bro, I'd love to see that museum. That museum's gonna have everything, man. That must be like one of the craziest museums in the world to go to and just visit all these different things that have happened. And just things of the past. That must be a crazy... If you've gone there, please let me know what it's like. Smithsonian. Museum. On February 15th, 1996, a satellite called Intelsat 708 was supposed to be launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in China. However, the satellite itself was built by the American company Space Systems Laurel. You can see the rocket take off and immediately you know something is wrong because it's heading in the complete <laughs> wrong direction. It's literally going... <laughs> Later in the video, you see the rocket transforming into a fireball before crashing back to the ground. The rocket ended up crashing in a nearby village where six people lost their oh, lives. Oh, wow. Well, that answers my question. Oh, wow. It landed in a fucking... Imagine being from this village and just this happening. That just baffles me, the idea of that happening near you. ...to a Chinese report. However, estimates that came out of America suggest that the number could be much higher. Way more. A video Fuck. crew later went to the village where many buildings were completely destroyed. God, An investigation yeah. took place afterward, which determined that there was a failure within the rocket's guidance system. There is no the way only six people lost their lives. Look at this. This is, a, this is like a, a bomb site. The investigation forced the Long March Rock program to six greatly improve its ass. reliability. The program did not experience another failure until 2011. However, the parties involved with the disaster did not get out of it unscathed. The investigation led to a huge political controversy in the United States. 
The U.S. government conducted its own investigation, which found that information from the report had been given illegally to China. Space Systems Laurel had to pay $20 million to settle charges of violating export controls. Rocket launches are necessary to support our modern way of living. However, all the time and money put into them can't always ensure they'll go off without a hitch. All space organizations can do is learn from these mistakes and try to make sure future disasters don't have a chance to happen. Be sure to click the link on screen to God check out five damn. ship Six people, lots of lives, and it wasn't even anyone on the actual ship, it was the... where it landed. Fuck me. All of these rockets were un unmanned. Nobody was inside any of these. We purposely did not include any fails that involved people inside the rockets for a lot of reasons. Just wanted to clarify that for anybody who was wondering. The Russian people just laughed like it was completely normal. Three to six rocket flies. Gravity now, dude, come back here. Bloating. Yeah, this man ain't getting nowhere, man. Gravity's like, fucking come back here right now. Oh, you could have included the Titan 3 4 d explosion that's on the thumbnail. It's really quite interesting, sorry behind it. The title should be the most expensive fireworks. Yeah, it didn't look like that to be funny. That's how you ruin a child's dream in 11 minutes. Yeah, imagine like you're a child, you want to be an astronaut and you witness stuff like that. Like, yeah, that's putting you off that sort of thing for life. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. Maybe more of these in the future. Maybe some more sort of rocket launch ones or just, yeah, things along those, those sort of lines. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it suggest the videos you want to see in future again sorry for the quality sorry for the sound probably sound issues i'm just trying to deal with the best sort of best i've got but yeah until next time like subscribe peace